Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to solve a bar element using direct element method. Okay, so we are asked to find out the amount of compressive force and tensile force developed in the given bar element. Okay, so we are just finding out this compressive force and tensile force using direct element method. This is the example we are going to solve. In direct element method, we would be using the stiffness matrix. So we will just be dividing this whole element into three bars actually. So this is bar 1, bar 2 and this is bar 3. Okay. So we are calculating the stiffness matrix of first bar. Okay. Generally, the stiffness matrix of a bar element is this. This is the formula for calculating the stiffness matrix of a bar element. Okay. This is the formula. If you are calculating for the first first element or the first bar, this is the formula. Okay. So we are seeing this A is equals to A in the first element. But in second element is 3A. In third element it is A. A is area of this element. Okay. So first we are taking the first bar. For the first bar AE is constant as A is constant here by L. L is 2 meters. Okay. So 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. And for second bar when we are taking A by L. AE is equals to 3A. A is 3A. So 3AE by span is 2 meters is equals to. So we are taking AE by 2 common here. So it would be 3 minus 3 minus 3 and 3. Okay. Next going to the third bar. When we are taking third bar AE is constant. A is constant. So it is 2 meters again. Length is 2 meters. We are taking the same. These are the nodes at which see. The first element or the first bar is between 1 and 2. 1 and 2 nodes. Second element is in between in between 2 and 3 nodes. The third element or the third bar is between 3rd and 4th node. Okay. So we are just giving the notation. The, for the first element or the first bar we are taking 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. Second one 2 and 3 and 2 and 3. 3, 4 and 3 and 4. So now this is the individual or the local stiffness matrix. Okay. That is for each element or each bar. But now we are taking a global stiffness matrix. Global stiffness matrix of the whole whole element, whole bar given. Okay. So this is the diagram. This is the formula. So we are taking AE by 2 common. Out of that, we are just writing the inside elements. With the 2. See here. 1 and 1. 2 and 2. 2 and 1. So here in this, the 2 and 2 element here the 2 and 2 element is coinciding so it will just simply add it that is 1 plus 3 okay even here it is 3 plus 1 okay we are writing the global stiffness matrix here so now we will apply the boundary conditions that is we see that these nodes at nodes 1 and 4 the ends are fixed that is the displacements at these ends or nodes is 0 so, we will just simply substitute it as 0. Okay. So, after applying the boundary conditions, the displacement at fixed end is equal to 0. We will apply this to this global stiffness matrix we have obtained before. See, that is how it would be. We are eliminating the rows and columns of 1 and 4th element. So, due to the fixity at support 1 and 4. Now, this is Ke by 2. We are, when we are eliminating this, only this 2 and 3, second and third element would come in picture okay see and forces we are also considering the external forces i will tell you see these are the external forces acting there are no forces at node 1 and 4 only the forces are acting at 2 and 3 second and third node so we are taking the right hand side the arrows which are going in the right hand direction are positive and which are going in the left hand side direction are negative okay this is what we are assuming okay we are taking the right hand side arrow is positive and the left hand side arrow is negative see this is how i am writing it at node 1 and 2 node 1 and 4 they are 0 it supports 4 and 1 and 4 they are 0 so taking at b we have a 100 kN load acting in the right hand side so i told you the right hand side would be positive and the left hand side would be negative so the, the 200 is minus that is negative in nature okay the 100 is positive this is the basic formula we have to solve this problem. Okay. KD is equals to F. So, this K. 
first of all we will just apply this formula in global level we'll get the displacement at that nodes and after that af for individual elements we will be applying the kd is equal to f we will be getting the individual the first bar forces the for the second bar we will get the forces so first of all we will just apply it in the global level that is for the whole matrix the global matrix is this one and after eliminating this is the matrix okay so this one we are keeping here k matrix d is d2 and d3 as d1 and d4 are automatically zero and at force nodes of forces also these two are zero so you are just simply keeping this two okay next after solving this in calci that is this matrix for getting this value this matrix would become inverse of this okay this matrix would become inverse and multiply with this in calci you will be getting the values d2 and d3 the displacements at node 2 and node 3 so once we get d2 and d3 we will now go to individual elements that is local level for the first bar kd is equals to f whatever the for, for first bar we have got the stiffness matrix a by l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 we have got this for, for the first bar okay and d d is for the first bar it is between see this is the first element or the first bar that is in between first and second node so when we are taking this one the first bar the k is for the first element which we have calculated in the first step okay this is k and d is in between 1 and 2 right so it would be simply d1 and d2 okay so these values are d1 and d2 where d1 is 0 we already know due to the fixed conditions so d2 is equals to the value we have obtained right now okay is equals to f1 and f2 this f1 and f2 will give us the forces acting here in this nodes okay we got f1 and f2 for the first bar okay now going to second bar for second bar we have kd is equals to f okay now again the k is the stif stiffness matrix for the second bar okay the second bar we know that the second bar is in between second and third node okay second and third node that is this is d2 this is d3 okay this is f2 and f3 so after solving we will get the values of f2 and f3 how to solve this means see we just need this value in calculator we will take a see here we have a constant we will take 1 by a e constant over here that is we will just multi uh, like cal this values after that we will just in, in calci we will substitute 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 okay so we will multiply this matrix with this matrix okay once we multiply we will get this f2 and f3 values now going to the third bar for the third bar we know the stiffness matrix the k matrix of the third bar okay this is again d3 and d4 we know d4 is equals to 0 due to the fixed conditions and this is f3 and f4 we'll get the forces this is it for this video thank you for watching the video please like share comment the channel please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching please like share comment to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you